Very good. I write down on a sheet of paper of affidavit for your innocence, the text of which has been handed down to me and is unimpeachable. I say, I, get ready, believe Joseph Kay to be innocent and guarantee his innocence. We go from judge to judge collecting signatures. Some judges don't believe me and want to meet you personally. Then we go to the great judge in charge of your trial. What's the matter with you? Bother me, Mr. Lake! <laughs> oh, I, I come from Tidorelli, an affidavit. Oh, my good friend Tidorelli. <laughs> a friend of Tidorelli is, is a friend of mine. I, I thank for you. You're free. Free? free. Wonderful. But no, only provisionally free. <laughs> the small judges that I know do not have the power to grant a quit of death. That is only given in the highest court, which is inaccessible to all of us. So what use is it? You are free to fight to the next stage of a quit of death. But, but you said nobody ever gets that. There's always a first time. <laughs> with a quit of provisional, the case is lifted off your shoulders. You are free to go to work. The papers continue to circulate on documents that were lost. Many times, maybe 10, maybe 20 years later, you've forgotten about your case. You've forgotten you had a case. I see you in the street. Wait a moment, don't tell me that. Mr. K, oh, Mr. Provisional Quinto, has your case. What case? I, no, I've forgotten about my case. That's right! <laughs> then one day, the judge's clerk picks up a piece of paper with your name written on it. He says, Joseph K is only Provisional Quinto. The case is still valid. Arrest Joseph K! The case part of me. So what use is that? You don't like that? No! Well, I know what's going on. Indefinite postponement prevents the case from going any further, but it must be a daily contact with the judge. Interrogations are frequent or friendly at all costs. Your case will go no further, nor will it be squashed. I never for you the sudden snatch in the middle of the night by the gnarled hand of the law say, Joseph K., you are under arrest. Both methods have this in common. They prevent the accused from coming up for conviction. But they, they both read his definite acquittal. That's right. You've got it. So what do you like? Well, nothing. Your advice is useless. But well, my paintings are very good. Don't see that every day. Yeah. 
Dane Louise! I have to go. I'll see you later, Tom Tom. Goodbye, Dane Louise.
Thank <laughs> you.